At 21, she's the youngest voice in New Zealand's parliament. Challenging the government in her debut address on policies that have unsettled so many in her community. This government has attacked my whole world from every corner. How can I not take anything personally when it feels like these policies were made about me? In the face of nationwide protests, the coalition plans to curtail the use of Māori language in government departments, review affirmative action policies and assess how the country's founding treaty between Māori and the British Crown is interpreted in legislation. Critics say it's a dangerous backward step. So I am really concerned um, for the well-being of our people, full stop, in every camp, whether it be in health and education and in culture, but most importantly where we find ourselves in this nation, relegated to the, to the back and, and living like second-rate citizens on our own land. In a further move that's alarmed many, the coalition is to scrap world-leading smoke-free policies to use the money from tobacco sales to fund tax cuts. Prime Minister Chris Luxon says voters want services based on need, not race. His coalition partners both have Māori ancestry. Ben Thomas is a right-wing political commentator and says Luxon still regards himself as a moderate on Māori affairs. He prides himself on learning te reo, Māori language. Um, so look, I, I think he certainly would, uh, you know, it would sting him to be described as racist or as part of a racist program. Uh, on the other hand, New Zealand First and ACT, I think they know that that kind of fires up their base, that gets their base engaged and angry. Analysts warn that the government may not get its way though. Legal challenges against any proposed changes to the treaty's interpretation are already underway. More protests are planned. The next flashpoint could be in February on Waitangi Day, which celebrates the treaty between the Crown and Māori. The debate over how that treaty is being honoured is now becoming increasingly acrimonious and divisive. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Wellington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.